Okay, so we're diagnosing a uh, thermostat, Mercedes-Benz thermostat. Okay, it's got the electrical connector and the thermostat itself. Uh, we're gonna test it two ways. We gotta make sure the resistance is good on these two electrical contacts here. It's supposed to be about uh, 15 resistance ohms um, at 20 degrees Celsius, and it's about it's about 21 and a half degrees out here, so it's gonna be in the 15 ohms range, and it should be plus or minus uh, 1.5 ohms. We're gonna use our multimeter. We're gonna to go to the ohms setting. Here's your ohms setting. And we're gonna take our two leads. It doesn't matter which one you put where, just put one lead on one pin and the other lead on the other pin. And it's within range. So we've got 15.6. And it should be about 15. Plus or minus one and a half ohms. So we're definitely within range. Okay, so that means that uh, this is good. Uh, we have to now test this. I'm going to put this in some boiling water and see if it opens up. Okay, it should be opening up from this side here. I'm just going to remove this. Twist, pop it right out. I'm gonna put this in some boiling water and we're gonna see if this starts to move in this direction. Okay, so I've got the thermostat in a pot, heating it up. Okay, so we're definitely boiling here. We've got the thermostat at about 105 degrees. And as far as I can tell, it has not moved. Let's get it out. Yeah, there's no movement there. There should be some separation on that black ring where it meets the gold colored disc there. I'll show you in a minute. So this thermostat is bad, it hasn't moved, hasn't opened, even though we are over 100 degrees. No, we've got no movement there. Okay. Bad thermostat. Turn this off. I'm going to pull this off and I'll show you what should happen. So when the thermostat heats up to whatever degree it's set to, this one I probably set, it's probably set at 95 to 100 degrees Celsius. We got well over 100 degrees Celsius and it should start opening. You should see something like this, some compression and some separation. This would allow water to go through the thermostat housing into the upper radiator hose. But since we've got no movement here, we've got a bad thermostat. So we're going to get another one, replace it, and hopefully that's going to fix the problem.